Hey guys, uh, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to import custom 3D models into your mod and have it working with uh, Steam and ModDB without any additional uh, coding or work or ridiculous stuff like that. So I'm going to use um, a hammerhead that I modeled in Blender a while back. Um, so first you want to make sure that your model is um, .fbx. Okay, so you can see up here it is hammerhead.obj. Now we don't want an obj file, we want something called an fbx file and that's what Unreal Engine can read uh, and turn it into a static mesh. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up Blender. Uh, if you don't have Blender, I'll have a link in the description to download it. Um, Blender is an amazing app. It's super, super amazing. You can model literally whatever you want in it. It's amazing. So we're going to go file, open, and we're just going to look for hammerhead. So I have this uh, file saved. So we'll just do hammerhead.blend. We'll open it. So I have my hammerhead here in Blender now. And what we want to do is, um, also, if you don't have the blend file and you just downloaded Blender and you have a 3D model you need to convert over to FBX, what you want to do is you would go File, Open, and then you would go over to your downloads and you would select it from your downloads. Um, or, no, you would go File, Import, Select it. So let's say I wanted to import the OBJ, right? I would uh, do OBJ, downloads. You can see right here, um, where is it? Hammerhead.obj, that's where you would download it. Or that's where you would import it, sorry. Um, the open is for a save file. So I'm just gonna open my save file because I already have this saved. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go file, export. Um, where is it? To do FBX. So we want to export it as FBX. We're going to export it to the download. Export FBX. And then give it a second. And then now you can close up Blender. So we don't need Blender now. So we can close out that. And we also don't need this open. Uh, so let's hop back into the mod kit. So as you can see, we're in the mod kit here and I want to import it. So I'm going to, um, I don't, this is a, this is a secret mod that I'm working on. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, so we're gonna use high content. So we're gonna, um, so this is the uh, high neighbor content. So what we're gonna do is to import it, we want to go over here, choose path, then you want to look for your mod's name. So once you have found your mod's name, you want to click on it. So I'm going to use high content. Then you want to go um, right click. Uh, I believe. Hold on. So you want to right click on something, right? You want to show an explorer. I don't know why it doesn't open. So you're gonna do that. You're also gonna wanna open your downloads folder. So if we scroll up, we can see here, hammerhead.fbx is now on here. So we can just drag um, our FBX file into the content browser. Uh, we can close that out. We can close that out. And if you give it a minute, and you, uh, you, might, you may need to restart your mod kit, um, but if you do that, you should be able so okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna restart our mod kit really quickly so we're just gonna um put this under maps where is it maps, maps, maps. Okay, so we're gonna close out the mod kit really quickly and we're gonna just simply reopen the mod kit and when we reopen the mod kit it should be in there now i'm hoping that my mod kit isn't gonna fart on itself and crash and i'm gonna have to restart my pc because that's annoying and my mod kit has been being very bad recently. Uh, so let's hope that doesn't happen. So we're just going to wait for the mod kit to open. I, I said mod, mod kit. There we go. So we're just going to wait for the mod kit to open. Uh, while we're doing that, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, like the video. Ring the notification bell for more uh, tutorials. Also, if you haven't already, go check out my main channel. I do a lot of gaming and stuff on the channel. Also, thank you guys for 100 subs. I appreciate that. I never thought I would get to 100 subs that fast, let alone get to 100 subs to begin with. <laughs>
And oh my god, my most viewed video has like 4,000 views. Like, how? You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> You guys are a pog. Yep. Alright. So, now that that is loaded, we should be able to see... Close that out. Oh, well, it did not... Oh, what is this? We're gonna pretend I didn't see that. Um... <laughs> Oh, right, you can't do it like that. So you have to do import. Then you have to go downloads, hammerhead, open. And then if you want to do a skeletal mesh, like uh, add to a 3 model, you can do that. We're just going to import it without a skeletal mesh. Import. And it should go in. Sorry about that. I forgot that that's how you do it. There you go. Uh, if there's a texture on it, it'll automatically import the texture. And there we go. Now we have our hammerhead inside of Unreal Engine. Uh, so that's how you import 3D models. Um, so yeah. And if you want to do something like a custom blueprint, um, it's also pretty easy. Uh, what you want to do is all you want to... I'm just going to save that real quick because hammerhead. So yeah. So make sure that uh, if you have your 3D model, make sure that you use... Uh, make sure that the... Um, um, Make sure whatever you use the model in, the mod's content folder has it in it. Otherwise, when you upload the mod, it will not be there. It'll just be gone. Like, if you upload it to Steam, it'll be non-existent. If you upload it to ModDB, non-existent. It just won't be there. So you have to make sure that your three, your custom 3D models or your custom blueprints are all in the um, mod's content browser. If they're not, well, then it won't work. It won't show up when you export the mod and somebody else goes to play it, or if you, if somebody downloads it from Steam to go play it from the workshop. Um, but yeah, it's the same thing for custom blueprints, static meshes, uh, textures, anything. Make sure that it's in the mod's content browser, okay? So, yeah. It's pretty simple, it's pretty easy. Uh, and I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, bring that notification bell, break out that mod kit, and start modding.